Marianne, I note that you still think we've got 10% uh, upside. So you're, you're looking for 30,800 on, on the Dow then? Uh, yeah, 3,400 on the S&P. But, you know, we have had these uh, consistent gains over the last six weeks across the markets. And uh, as was mentioned earlier, a little lighter on, on the volume side. So we wouldn't be surprised if there was some little pullback from here. We're kind of out of that um, trend line, uh, above the trend line recently. And uh, for that reason, we're using some buffered index portfolio uh, ETFs and uh, uh, the actual contracts, along with some gold, to provide some hedge on, you know, a, a pullback in the market. We wouldn't be surprised if we got, you know, between here and the end of next year, maybe a 7 or 8 percent pullback. And so we've got a little bit of a hedge in there. Lindsay, we still got these trade talks afoot right now. We thought we were going to maybe get some sort of headway or some sort of announcement today on them. It kind of came and went. The fact that we closed at highs going into the weekend, you surprised? I mean, it feels good closing at highs going into the weekend, right? But next week, Monday brings a whole new week with it and a whole yep. new new set of economic da data and, and other issues. And retail retail earnings, too, will be another thing that we'll be watching next week. I think the 28,000 number is nice. But once, Mike, you know this better than anyone, crossing that, that threshold is easy. Staying above it is a little bit more difficult. So I think that we're going to need to have more confidence about trade and what is going, this next steps going forward there to really continue this move higher. Mike, we take healthcare's big jump out of this today. This was tech communication services led. Back, yep. back to the sort of age old sectors that yep. have taken us uh, it's, through it's the last growth. couple of years. I mean, Treasury yields have stayed very calm. They haven't pulled back too much from their highs because if they get below one and three quarters in the 10 year, then you're going to have to say, oh, that was not really a genuine move higher uh, in terms of bond yields going up. But with yields this low, and it really was a very index led rally today. At some point this afternoon, I pointed out the Nasdaq, the S&P and the Dow were all up precisely 0.61%. That does not come from investors deciding exactly which stock to buy and which one to sell and whose fundamentals are better. It's a rush to get equity exposure in the biggest, most liquid way. And I think that's what you saw.